Hi, I'm Paul Lindahl at Texas A&M University. I want to tell you a little bit about the research that we're doing in my group. Uh, my group is primarily interested in iron metabolism in cells. Iron plays a, a number of critical roles in cellular metabolism, including respiration in the mitochondria, it's, uh, the active site of many enzymes. Uh, so it's, it's really necessary for the cell to bring iron in and to utilize iron. Iron also plays some, some uh, negative roles, some damaging roles to the cells. There can be iron overload uh, that, can, that can cause reactive oxygen. Uh, iron overload has been associated with neurodegeneration, aging, these type of things. So there's a lot of medical importance in trying to understand the role of iron in cell biology. So um, we're interested in iron trafficking. Uh, when, a, when iron enters a cell, how does it know where to go. So a lot of the iron can go to uh, the mitochondria or to in yeast, they can go to vacuoles, to other organelles. What controls this traffic? And a lot of those questions are unknown and uh, this, is where we're, we're, this is where we're going. Uh, previous studies, a lot of previous studies have involved uh, molecular genetics and cell biology methods. What we're bringing in that's a little bit novel is the use of biophysical tools to address these, in particular Moss-Bauer spectroscopy. Moss-Bauer is probably the most powerful method to study iron. Uh, for example, there are Moss-Bauer spectrometers on the surface of Mars looking at Martian soil because it's so powerful. Uh, it can see all of the iron in a sample and it can give you a good idea of what types of, irons are, of, of iron is present, iron sulfur clusters or heme groups or non-heme uh, iron. And so you can get a much better idea of what, uh, what the iron constitution of a cell is with this technique. One of the limitations of iron is that you need to enrich samples in a particular isotope of iron called iron 57. And, uh, this is what we do in the group and this allows us to get uh, very good uh, uh, Mossbauer spectra and has allowed us to get new insights in terms of iron trafficking. Most of our current studies involve yeast. We can get uh, various genetic strains that have either iron overload or iron, uh, some type of malfunction in iron metabolism, and we can study these with our biophysical methods. We're also uh, now growing human jerkette cells and are interested in incorporating iron 57 into those cells and then um, using RNA interference to um, knock down various genes that are involved in iron metabolism and look for um, uh, iron accumulation or some type of changes in the iron trafficking and try to get mechanistic insight from that. Uh, recently we have uh, begun animal studies with mice. We are trying to incorporate iron 57 into mice and we plan to uh, dissect the organs and look with moss bar spectroscopy at the different organs in mice including the brain and liver trying to understand, again, uh, uh, iron overload, iron trafficking, uh, these uh, issues that, are, that might be involved in, say, neurodegeneration or, um, you know, or aging. We're also doing some chromatography studies. We use liquid chromatography in conjunction with uh, uh, inductively coupled plasma emission mass spectrometry to identify iron complexes that are in cells and that are involved in trafficking. Uh, we want to um, uh, determine their structures and perhaps that will help us understand how to control trafficking and perhaps address uh, iron diseases a little bit better. So this project is funded by NIH. Uh, I'm currently looking for some uh, graduate students in the project and uh, if you're interested in it, please contact me. I have a second project that is totally different. It's a computational project in biomathematics. Uh, here we're uh, focused, we have a collaboration with a group at the U uh, University of Houston uh, where we're interested in uh, developing a whole cell modeling framework for uh, looking at processes that are involved in cell growth and division. We're currently uh, looking at uh, contractile rings, the assembly, the positioning, the contraction of these rings that form in the middle of a cell during uh, cytokinesis. Uh, this is a, um, an NSF sponsored project. Students that are interested in it should have a good background in mathematics and computational approaches. Uh, so uh, I'd also be happy
to send you additional information on this project. So thank you for listening and I hope to hear from you.